just woke up and um, I guess we have new neighbors. <laughs> we have a lot of neighbors. Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. We're in San Juan, the big city, and we have three days to provision and get ready for off the grid living for three months for two people and a baby. And it's gonna be like always when you do these kind of provisionings, pretty hectic. <laughs> but I think we've prepared pretty good. Uh, the first thing we're gonna tackle is uh, food. Oh wow. There's like an airport right here. <laughs> it's like planes leaving this, all the time. This anchorage couldn't be more different than our last anchorage in Culebra. No, I It was know. just nature and peace and quiet, and now we're literally next to. Yeah, like big cruise ships, like this kind of crazy wharf thing with like, I don't know. Okay, so we're planning obviously three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 90 days which means 270 servings of food. For two people, that's 540 servings of food, plus snacks, plus baby food. So it's quite uh, a bit of stuff. Plus, we also need to get the boat ready because the little nugget is like getting pretty mobile. She's starting to crawl, and um, we need to put some netting around the boat to protect her. There's also some supplies I need to get from the marine store uh, to make sure that I can keep Delos running. So it's like sending a kid to a candy store with a credit card. <laughs> some oil filters, some antifreeze, uh, some stuff for some boat projects, some line for lashing, uh, some 5200 of course, a few odds and ends, and I'm gonna be installing the heater. Uh, for heading up north over the next few months. So yeah, it's gonna be a mission, but uh, you know, San Juan will be our last big port before we're getting into Annapolis. So it's sort of a big push to get Dallas ready over the next few days and then whoosh, we're out. It is very good provisioning here and it's cheap too. And I think what we've heard, uh, because we're gonna be in the Bahamas for the next couple of months, it's gonna be quite expensive. So, what we've done is that we prepared a shopping list uh, that's kind of step one and you might wonder like how we go about to do that so we have this old list of literally everything that i wish to have on the boat and i've created that like eight years ago when i first came on the boat uh, and i just tweak the numbers like okay now we're less people two people then we need less of everything so i just go through that list and then I open the cupboard and I'll be like, okay, do we have ketchup? Do we have, you know, mayonnaise? Do we have rice? Do we have pasta? And I just check all of them. And then what we don't have, I write it on the list. And that's our shopping list. This is the story of Delos. A sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Della's videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Luckily, we'd been in contact with a friend we met last time in San Juan and he kindly offered to take us shopping in his gigantic truck. All right, all right. Ivan, what's up, dude? So we met Ivan last time we were here, and he, I don't know, he just brought us all of this cool stuff, and uh, he's been watching the videos for a long time. So we just hung out with him. He's taking out for some epic dinners, and yeah, he's just really all around good dude. You ready to cruise? Let's do it, man. All right, let's go. Awesome. I brought you some goodies. Oh, you did? Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. The mocha. Those are great. For the night watch. Nice. Some, I had uh, one this morning. It's got like 80 milligrams of caffeine in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our plans for the next few months would take us away from cities, away from traffic, and away from all the conveniences that they provide. 
it was time to see just how much stuff we could stuff into Ivan's super truck and store away on Delos. Whoa. Have you ever been in a Costco, Karen? Uh, it's insane. Gigantic packs of everything. I have lost <laughs> Brian and Ivan. <laughs> And I've like lost myself here. It's so much stuff and I'm just going aisle up and aisle down. I don't know what they've got and what I need to get, but yeah, it's a little crazy. margarita game. We got a great margarita recipe. What do you think, Kaza? How was that? That's a crazy store. It's a crazy store, huh? I know. It's so weird, but it's good. Do you want to take a guess on how much we spent? Um, $600? Okay. 800 Around seven? Eight, $817. Yeah. 800. But in, if we would have done this in Antigua, uh -huh. we would have gotten like a quarter of the stuff. Provisioning by boat is like a lot of work because once you get it back from the store down to the dock Then the next challenge is you got to fit it into the dinghy Take it back out to the boat Unload it from the boat to the dinghy and then you got to store everything away. So it's literally like a full day project yeah, at least. We're getting there Man, what a mission, huh? Okay, we're just gonna get a few things out of the dinghy while you rest right there, okay? Sound like a good plan? Yeah. Do you want to turn the AC on to make it comfortable for us? Sure. We'll cool the boat off, we'll get it nice and comfortable, and then we'll go to work and put her down for sleep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, time to cool this bitch off. AC is on. That, that actually is one of the luxuries that I really do like having on a boat for like times like these when you're gonna do a bunch of hard work. It's stinking hot. Yeah, there is wind, but it's still hot and humid even with all the hatches open. Yeah, so once you got everything inside, I generally do the easy things. We put um, uh, all the heavy stuff as low as possible uh, into the bills. So all the drinks, the detergents, um, all the juices and things like that are gonna go down low. And then the lighter things like the chips and the snacks and then crackers are gonna go up. And we have all of our cabinets uh, labeled. So this is like open food. This is where teas go. 
uh, canned food. This is snacks. We have sprouts, Mexican coffee, uh, a whole place for coconut milk, noodles, and so on and so forth. So it is a bit of work, but once we get everything put away, Delos can swall up like an incredible, incredible amount of provisions. And how much toilet paper did we buy? So we decided to take an afternoon off and explore part of San Juan. This is Gloria. Is that short for Gloria? Or is it yes. no? Yes? Yes, okay. it's Gloria and they call me Glory Mar. So we yes. met the other night. Yay! And uh, we've been chilling out today and where are we right now? We are at Placita in Santurce. It's a place to have fun and just relax after work pretty much. You may open my beer, sir. Salud! Salud! It's an alcapurria de carne. So that has the beef inside? It has the beef inside. It looks like a banana. <laughs> it's it's, like, a, it's, it's like a banana. It's, it's, well, yeah. well, it has a look. Or... Yeah. or uh, <laughs> oh, it's good. It's kind of hot. <laughs> You know what I need? I need, some, I need some, some hot, hot sauce. sauce. I need some hot sauce. The local scene at La Placita was a welcome break from shopping, but with an early morning and another full day ahead of us, we decided to call it a night. Ahoy Delos tribe! Summer is fast approaching, and we just got a new batch of our solar long sleeve shirts in the shop. They're available in men's and women's sizes to fit all. So just pop on over to svdellis.com forward slash rash guards and grab one for that special person in your life. Good morning, it's day two. And today we're gonna go and get some baby stuff for Sierra and some boat part stuff as well, I think. So. Cisco, yes, sir. how are you today? I'm doing great. Great. Okay. Well, we're, going to West we're gonna go to the boat store and spend some money. It's like sending a kid to a candy store with a credit card. It adds up like crazy. Jeez, 661 bucks. Man. Okay, well, can't put a price on Sierra's safety, right? Are you ready, child? We're gonna go buy you baby things. Baby survival gear. I got some spoons. Spoons. I got a bowl. Bowl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing good here. Doing Stay good. dry nursing pads. All right. We're on target. We're on yeah. target. In Walmart. <laughs> it's a little hard. <laughs> so on a Looks boat. like we got a boat project going on. Yeah. So I need to make like a cage for Sierra because yesterday for the first time like at her it's really bright at her kind of um bed the pull-up bed in the salon uh she was like having both arms over and we knew that days were coming she still cannot pull herself over but it's it's Why getting take a chance we have yeah. the material and we have a sewing machine so i think best just to sew it up now yeah I think it's a great idea so we're gonna create it's kind of like a little lee cloth and then as she grows we will just kind of fold it up and create like a zipper so more like a cage thing. So the idea is to put kind of like one of these on the edges to strengthen it up so we can really kind of tighten it down. And then we have this, which is, um, I don't know what you call it. What do you call this again, Brian? The edge thingy? He's peeing right now. 
<laughs> yeah. So these, um, so it kind of like folds over the edge of the material. Um, so that's to create kind of the outline of the whole sheet. And then we'll put some um, things to kind of tighten it down. The whole edge is done. Whew, it took longer than it always takes longer than you think. Uh, it is really hot in here. <laughs> uh, now I just need to put in these grommets um, on the sides to kind of hold it up, and then we can install it. Exciting! In life, we always strive to find balance between work and play, and it's especially important when sailing. You can easily spend all your time working on the boat and fail to see beyond your to-do list. So we decided to take an afternoon and aimlessly stroll around old San Juan and soak in the sights. Day by day, our to-do list was getting shorter, and as it did, Dallas's water line sunk lower and lower. But we were almost there, almost ready to set sail for a place that we'd spent the last year dreaming of returning to, a place where our neighbors would be palm trees and sandy beaches, rather than gigantic ships. So that cruise ship ended up leaving last night at like 9.30 or 10. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> But now we're on the other side, and look what's next to us. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the Costco Teng Fei. Jeez, man, can't get away. This is a crazy anchor. Jeez. from the tugs like blew us like sideways like we were anchored in a river That's like the current crazy. took us sideways it was insane <laughs> how's the project going yeah it's always like getting into you're like oh i'm just gonna do this and it's gonna be easy and then it's not <laughs> then we figure out that our sweet painting from madagascar had to be moved <laughs> yeah and so we could mount it to the wall these is too thick for these ones the material is too thick to properly yeah. do it, so you had to lash it until we can get longer eyes. Yeah. yeah. So that's not ideal, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're going around the problem. Ooh. 
we have attached a zipper to be able to like unzip it and basically get her in and out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's your new zone. Do you want to see how you like it? I think we did a great job. <laughs> I'm not sure that she's a, she's no. convinced yet. Oh, pick me up! Pick oh, is me that up. better? But it's safe. Safety first. Yeah. Safety. First. I think it's gonna be great. And when we feel like we want to move her into the pass through, we just do that, and she will be safe. Safe. Safe okay, nugget. project okay. done! Yay! Yay! High five! High five. Yeah, high five. But before setting sail, there was one more item remaining on the list. I needed to top up our diesel fuel supply on Delos. Okay, so we are at 250 liters. Just about exactly. See it right there. Which means that we have been using an average of 175 liters per month or just over 40 US gallons. So that's actually not too much really if you think about all the time that we're running the generator right now to wash baby diapers and stuff. But um, we do carry some reserve fuel on board and some jerry jugs and uh, I'm just going to siphon the fuel from the reserve supply that we carry which is just over 100 liters and then I'm going to run into the fuel station, fill them up, come back and siphon them in the tank. Saturday afternoon boat chores. There it goes. So there's a lot of fancy uh, fuel siphon pumps out there, but I find that what actually works best is just a simple tube. The key that I found is don't suck from the end where the fuel is gonna come out. You can accomplish the exact same thing by blowing air into the top of the tank and pressurizing it to get the fuel started flowing. And once it starts, as long as it's going downhill, it never stops, works great. Up next on Delos, we weigh anchor and set out on a 600 mile passage with the little nugget. Hooks up! All right, here we go. Get it, Calvin, get it! Wow! Oh, it's a squisher. Oh, smells real bad. Okay, I need to go outside. Oh, we've taken some pretty big waves. Dallas is making good speed. Sierra is crying. Audio check, audio check, audio check. Sugar. That's what I'd like to 